Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to my Facebook live stream. My name is Jimmy Chang. I'm a professional photographer, filmmaker, and also an Olympus ambassador. So if you're new to this live stream, I do daily, which between Monday to Friday, 11 to 11.30 BST London time. So yes, of course, you may have heard the news and this is basically today's topic. Originally, I was going to talk a little bit about um, photography, but I guess that a lot of you guys are a little bit concerned about what you may have heard this morning. So let's get right into it. Okay. And uh, of course, you know, if you have any question whatsoever, you're very welcome to just type in a comment. I will try to respond to you as much as I can to the best of my knowledge, of course. Um, at this moment in time, I also have a limited uh, amount of information, but I did speak to Olympus uh, uh, this morning. So uh, hopefully I will answer some of your questions. But um, to cut in short, I'm very positive. I'm still very confident about Olympus, so you don't have to worry too much about it, which I'm going to tell you right now. So let's say uh, a few highs to people first. Uh, good morning, Roman. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, Hart. So um, I, I know that uh, I have posted the, or shared uh, this particular video feed to uh, uh, Michael Ford uh, groups in, on Facebook. So uh, uh, welcome if you are new to here uh, as well. And also I know that I also share a, a, um, my post also to a Taiwanese group. So I know a, a few of you guys may not have uh, understand English too well, so I probably can't speak um, uh, Mandarin too well. I'm very rusty, so uh, so, so I'm really sorry that I can't really um, uh, speak Mandarin too well. I'm very, very rusty, uh, but I, would, I, I can still read, so I will answer you as much as I can. I'll try to speak slower, so if you can't hear me, um, once again, just leave me a comment, I'll, I'll be able to uh, answer you. So, good morning. <laughs> right, okay. Um, okay, this, <laughs> this is actually my afternoon's uh, YouTube uh, live title as well. But I guess that a lot of my uh, YouTube followers will possibly ask the same question as you guys now uh, right here. But in short, I will say still yes, but I'm going to tell you that if you want to uh, listen to why I say that Canon is scared of Michael Fawford, Stay tuned on my YouTube channel, Red35. The link is in my description. So you can go there, follow me and put on the notification so you know when my video comes out uh, uh, and, and go live. So you can uh, basically join in, have a quick chat as well. Okay, right, cool stuff. And uh, so we get started, so we get started. Okay, so yes, you all heard the news about uh, Olympus has sold the imaging division to a Japanese equity company called JIP. And uh, this was made international uh, news this morning. It's a press release. Uh, I think it was about 8, 8 a.m. or 6 a.m. I cannot remember exactly. Uh, subsequently, I did receive a call um, uh, from Olympus. Um, so to, you know, just to brief me a little bit about the news. And uh, after the conversation, um, I believe it's actually a very good thing for Olympus to do such action. Um, unlike some other companies, you may have um, uh, uh, you know, read about it over the last six to 18 months. Um, there are other struggling ca uh, camera businesses, you know, and uh, if, you, if you say that they're all doing very well, that would be a lie, you know, that includes the big boys as well, like, you know, Mr. C, Mr. N and, and everybody else. So um, you have to bear in mind the overall camera market is shrinking, and that's a fact. I know. All of you guys know about it already, uh, so I don't have to say anything more about you know the the current situations about the whole overall photography business. However, and uh, having said that, Olympus is still very active, is still very um, uh, uh, profitable in many regions in the world. There are there are regions that are not doing so well, and that's a fact. And the UK, especially, that we are actually doing quite well. We are still making profit every year. So um, uh, I've do believe that you know anything is not going to happen to those places and regions that are performing well. Um, just like any any acquisitions and any consolidations on businesses or cost saving exercises that may uh, the new owner may have to impose to a business means that there will be a restructuring going on. And uh, but of course detail will be announced hopefully in due course. We don't know exactly the extent of it. However. And uh, uh, what I've been told from Olympus is that they, uh, JIP did sign a due diligence between Olympus and them. So uh, that would make sure that in the next few years, at least in short to medium term, and medium terms in businesses usually talk about five to eight years. These, these are medium terms, yeah? So bear that in mind, 
they already signed agreement due diligence that they're not going to touch anything within the Olympus business, uh, imaging division business that they just purchased uh, in terms of the roadmap, the product releases, the current marketing, the investments and everything like that is still continue going and also R&D. Okay, so that answered the question about whether you should be worrying about Olympus. So in short to medium term, at least, you don't have to worry about a thing because um, the investment, the, the part of the purchase agreement and also the funding is already confirmed towards the imaging division. So like um, the current roadmaps about all the new lenses that is gonna come out this year and all the new bodies gonna come out later this year and next year and, and, and after that is going to be secure. Nothing is gonna change. And uh, they go also continue going to pump money into R&D. Um, that there is also obviously some other um, uh, agreement that the JIP will, uh, will be signing with Olympus. Obviously, that you know, I don't have much detail at the moment because as you know from my previous uh, videos talked about Olympus, is that um, uh, the imaging department also serve as an R&D for the med medical di um, uh, divisions within Olympus. Um, so like, you know, the imaging sensors, the, you know, the lenses, the optation for their, for their you know, endoscopes and stuff like that. So that, I believe, will continue. So that means that even though that imaging department may become an independent camera business, but there could still be some sort of R&D agreements uh, signed between the two. And then that would mean that uh, uh, there will be a guaranteed business between you know, these two companies here. So um, uh, that, that is also quite encouraging. So, and, uh, so overall, I believe, you know, to my understanding is that um, nothing's gonna change between now and five, six, eight years down the line. Longer term, obviously, no one knows. I mean, who knows about all the other brands either? So, you know, we just have no idea about the long, much longer terms. And so also depending on how well uh, uh, JIP will continue to, to market this, uh, this uh, Olympus imaging division. Right, another question being asked is about um, uh, uh, whether JIP is going to break up the Olympus uh, imaging division and to sell it on. Um, I don't think so, and I know there are some there are some concerns about these as well. And but like I mentioned just now, they have signed a due diligence between you know JIP and, and Olympus in in Japan. So this particular deal means that everything is secure for the foreseeable future in all the product developments, all the product launches, and all the investments they are going to pump into it. So everything that Olympus Olympus originally committed to the imaging, division, uh, the imaging division is going to continue. So uh, that means uh, it's all okay. And, um, but like I mentioned, there will be some restructuring going on. And uh, obviously that I cannot comment further. I really don't know the extent of it. I don't know uh, whether uh, there are any regions that will be suffering from, uh, from uh, the new restructuring plan, uh, restructured uh, unit in, within the, the JIP um, umbrella. Uh, and also there could be uh, some sort of um, a rebranding going on in the future, um, but that's also unconfirmed. I'm just speculating because judging from uh, what JIP did to Sony's Vio, um, uh, uh, laptop, you know, they took out Sony and uh, the word Sony, they just simply kept the Vio brand um, and continued the business as, uh, as such. So we don't know. We don't know. But as far as we know, uh, I know for now, at least from the agreement that they signed with the uh, Olympus, everything's remained unchanged for many years to come. So um, in fact, I actually believe, the reason why I say it's actually good is that um, Olympus really want to focus on the bigger part of the business, which is the medical side of it. So whether it's gonna be the, the therapeutic, you know, the, 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 um, the endo endoscope businesses and also the scientific solutions, um, which they are actually making a lot of money. So they might want to concentrate on that. And, then, uh, and while the imaging department, which is already a R&D department for them, they may want to spin, spin it out and uh, give a company who have a track record of actually promoting and building brands uh, individually. So this could be an opportunity for a, an external company seeing, uh, seeing what Olympus can provide as a, a product, not only product, but also innovations and solutions to the camera industry. So this is something that they actually see and uh, 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 that is something that they perhaps thinking that uh, they could make it big. You know, the thing about like, private equity firms, they don't usually approach uh, a, a company and buy off their units and just, just, you know, for the sake of it or just to spin it off. And, and yes, there are some equity company will buy, you know, certain 
uh, businesses and come out and spin it and then break it up and just sell the profitable, profitable parts such as patterns and things like that. Unfortunately, I don't think that will happen. Well, actually, no, I would say, wouldn't say unfortunately. So fortunately, I don't think that will happen to Olympus because Olympus Imaging Division is actually one big unit here. There isn't much that you can break up to sell. So that means if they're acquiring a business like this, it's very likely they, they're going to want to build this into a different level, you know, like propel it into a better uh, uh, um, a platform. So, um, and don't forget that Michael Forther Alliance is growing bigger, like I mentioned before, and the my Michael Forther is not that video on YouTube, uh, that you can actually see all that. I had a two hours talk there and talk about, you know, why it's not gonna be uh, going anywhere soon, uh, simply because there are still people joining the Alliance. And uh, in fact, you know, you can just see the rumor again, in, even though it's not really confirmed yet, Panasonic is going to announce a new, com a new camera, the G100, you know, and that's another new Micro Forza uh, uh, cameras coming out. I know Olympus is going to have other products on the roadmaps that's coming out this year and next year already. So um, these are all, you know, fueling the actual Micro Forza platform. So I don't think anything is going to happen. I know this news may sound shocking in a way um, to many of you, um, especially after the last month or two. Um, there are so many rumors and so is uh, uh, Mr. Tony and Chelsea talk about Michael Forster is dead. Um, that is not going to help that rumor site, and then uh, that definitely not going to fuel confidence into a lot of the uh, Michael Forster photographer. Um, but look, I'm a professional here. I, I I simply take photos and make money for you know and make a living out of it. Um, and okay, I'm an Olympus ambassador. I have uh, you know worked with Olympus for for a few years now, and I'm really super happy about it. But ultimately, I don't really rely on Olympus um, to do anything and uh, uh, to to make a living. You know, I don't work for them. I work with them. Um, so I what I'm saying is just simply uh, you know a guy observing um, the overall um, situations and and something that I would just like to share with you guys. So let's see what you guys are talking about and see what uh, what sort of thing you want to ask me. Um, so like I said, if you have any question, you are very welcome to uh, drop me a message here. I'm going to scroll from the top and just work my way down. Okay, uh, I'm going to pop your uh, all your questions down and then uh, let's see uh, what's happened. <laughs> Is my Mandarin not bad, Hart? 还可以吧，还可以吧。我的我的国语真的真的讲的不太好了，已经忘了，已经忘了。呃，快快，嗯，二十五年了，二十五年没有讲了。Yeah. So sorry, guys. If you don't know what I was saying, I was just saying that I haven't spoken Mandarin for twenty-five years. And yeah, I I used to speak a lot of Mandarin when I was in Canada. And I. I have a lot of friends uh, who are from Taiwan uh, and China, and also uh, my first girlfriend was Taiwanese as well. That's why you know, I, I spoke really fluent uh, Mandarin, but 25 years is a long time, so I haven't spoken uh, Mandarin, and so it's not really, <laughs> really, really good. So bear with me, so I'll try to speak as slow as possible. Olympus has black technology in its crazy IBIS sensor. <laughs> well, that's the thing though, you know, Olympus still holds the uh, pattern of the um, uh, uh, host the pattern for 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 five axis stabilization and uh, of course you know that doesn't mean that other people can't introduce their own version of five axis stabilization but if people want to employ something similar to what olympus stuck which is actually fantastic you all know that olympus has the best uh, five axis stabilization in the world so if people want to have similar sort of performance they will have to license from Olympus and Panasonic is actually one of the good, one of the good things, uh, a good cases that they they, they did license the five axis stabilization from Olympus. So, yeah, Olympus do have a lot of really cool in, innovative stuff here. And um, <laughs> Roman said, I can still use my lenses and buy at least a new camera. Uh, like I mentioned, please don't worry about it for now. And uh, I th I think I think uh, 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 you know. If anything does happen, that you're more likely that I'm going to lose my ambassadorship, you know, and uh, um, that would be uh, uh, something that uh, that could happen to me if there are some restructuring going on. I don't know whether it's going to affect all the um, ambassadors and visionaries uh, around the world. I'm not entirely sure whether, whether that would uh, that would be the case. Hopefully not, you know, because I, I I actually quite like representing Olympus and because uh, uh, you know I, I enjoy the product. Full stop. You know, like I mentioned, I don't rely on them. You know, I could I could use any other camera. I'm a pro. You know, I, I use Leica, I use Canon before. You know, this is no problem for me using any other cameras to do my job. But so far, I just enjoy using 
this. That's why I switch, right? Okay. <laughs> and um, okay, let's see here. Um, what what um, Travis saying now? Oops, my comments a little bit too big here. And uh, let me just restructure it a little bit. I'm gonna put my show show here. If you want to follow me on social media, so you can of course see my link here, my Instagram, my Twitter, and also that's my website there. And you can also support me by going into my uh, buy me coffee. Buy me coffee is always good. <laughs> um, Olympus need to quickly put out positive news about continuity of camera businesses as potential customers will be put up by latest announcement and this will cause a rapid decline in business and brand if content is not bolstered up. Right, I totally understand that. Um, to be quite frank, um, uh, when I spoke to Olympus UK this morning, they are also only just found out about it uh, yesterday. And of course, they can't say anything until the official announcement this morning. Um, the, uh, so it's obviously they will make a uh, uh, official announcement talking about this particular case and trying to reassure uh, confidence from all the Michael Forthard, existing Michael Forthard and Olympus users, and also uh, to any newcomers who may want to purchase Olympus stuff. And uh, like I mentioned already, uh, you don't have to worry about it because I've been told the agreement is signed and uh, the due diligence is solid. Um, that means that they can't really break away from it. Otherwise, there will be some sort of penalty, I believe, you know, in, in the clause um, uh, from JIP purchasing from Olympus. So that means that JIP will have to uphold the, the agreement of continued investment, the amount of money that they have to put into the business and to grow and following the roadmap, the product launches and all the R&D they have promised uh, for the next few years. So this is something that uh, probably quite assuring just coming from me talking to you guys now and uh, this should be enough uh, but of course you know we have to wait until Olympus officially uh, announce this to everybody in the world and I'm pretty sure they will do it very very soon after the uh, uh, the announcement came in this morning. So Hendrik uh, I see the transaction positive is as that they will help Olympus restructure the business and can get rid of the overheads. According to press release they are not selling but will be the merger. Yes, um, yes, that is very true, uh, Hendrik. And uh, many of you don't know about it is that um, when I talked about Olympus, uh, different disciplines, you know, like the therapeutic, scientific solutions, and, and imaging divisions, they all part of the umbrella of Olympus uh, uh, Corporation in Japan, but they all function independently in a way. So, like, they are basically just coming out from the Olympus um, uh, umbrella. But that now coming to J, uh, J, um, JIP. So it's just moving things around a little bit at the moment. That's kind of like how I would see it physically. You know, you have Olympus here uh, and then you have JIP here and, and, and the imaging department used to be under Olympus and now kind of shift over to JIP. Um, this is what is happening at the moment. Um, and the agreement between JIP and Olympus is that don't change anything. You know, you want to buy it, you have to follow exactly what we did or what we plan to do with the imaging div uh, division. And that's how I see the whole situation. So I don't think anything is going to happen. However, there's also uh, 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 definitely an agreement saying that, you know, okay, JIP wants to take over and then, but um, the, they will also talk to Olympus. Okay, you know, I can't, you know, operate the way that we operate at the moment. So I will need to uh, see if we, if we can make it more efficient. You know, uh, the, the way the opera, the imaging department is functioning and operating at the moment. So that could mean, you know, some restructuring going on. So there, uh, I, I believe there will be some uh, uh, regions that will possibly disappear. You know, the, uh, I did mention about the South Korean issues uh, uh, earlier this year. Um, that could something similar may happen. And, uh, but obviously, don't take it from me, you know, uh, take it as a grain of soap. Um, uh, I'm only speculating um, because any restructuring could mean just that. If it's a loss business uh, for this moment in time, they might cut the, any losses they could find and focus on the regions that are making money. So like any businesses would. So even if GIP didn't take over from, from Olympus, Olympus might would have done it already or, or plan to do that anyway, and uh, just like any businesses. So I actually think it's okay, you know, uh, like I mentioned, and uh, in my South Korean um, news um, two weeks ago, I think it was, um, so I responded that, and Olympus did keep their after-sales services there and also the technical repair center there in South Korea. So they are maintaining some sort of presence there in the background. So if they ever have the needs or if the market does pick up and uh, they can easily reintroduce in, uh, themselves into that particular region very, very easily and very quickly. So I don't think that um, uh, is any problem with Olympus. And in fact, I think they're playing quite clever. Um, now JIP taking over could mean that also they, uh, they are more 
focus on, on the imaging division. Um, actually, yeah, more so than Olympus, uh, because Olympus, obviously, they have more things to worry about in terms of their other big uh, three disciplines there, which are actually making them a lot of money. So imaging divisions, like I mentioned, is an R&D uh, for the other <laughs> three departments. Uh, that, that could mean something uh, uh, in terms of uh, priorities and also focus. But now JRP takes over. They want to build this. They invested in it. They want to pay money for it. And like anybody, if, one, if I pay some, uh, pay some money and big money to buy something, I want to make sure it works, right? That would be me. That would be totally me. So I can understand uh, why I shouldn't be worried and why Olympus shouldn't be, or, or any sort of Olympus user shouldn't be worried about this. So this is something that you should be better in mind as well. Okay, and uh, <laughs> Olympus and Basil will be bombarded by questions. I'm pretty sure myself and uh, uh, Peter Forsgaard, Robin Wong, because we, we are all visionaries and, and ambassadors, will be taking a lot of questions, especially people who do live videos, um, such as uh, Peter Forsgaard and myself. And uh, 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 we will be taking a lot of questions. Uh, but I'm, I'm right here for you guys, so if you have any questions uh, about Olympus gears and things, you know, you're very welcome to message me and also have a presence on YouTube. So like I mentioned, if you haven't followed me, uh, go down to my description. You can see the link there, Red35 Photography. You'll definitely find it. Uh, uh, I have a big presence there so you can actually see my, uh, my video. And in fact, I'm actually doing another live this afternoon at 3 p.m. BST London time. So if you want to join me again to talk about all this and to listen about all, uh, uh, a, a lot of these stuff and also, Interestingly, I'm also, I'm also going to bring in Canon into the picture for my afternoon chat to talk about um, uh, why I think uh, what Canon did, what they did. <laughs> okay, that should be fun. That should be really fun. Um, yeah, I, hard. I don't think it will be keeping faith. I think it's more like um, just be positive about everything. You know, businesses get, sold, uh, get bought and sold every day. And also business opens and closes every day. So I don't think, you know, we really take it too uh, uh, hardly about anything that's just been announced this morning. And uh, I, I know it could be a shock simply because, you know, we all love Olympus product. We all love um, Olympus uh, gears and lenses and cameras. And uh, I know, you know, if something does happen, you know, it will be a disaster for people, right? Just let me note disappear, you know, the brand disappear. Although Sony took over and became what it is now, Sony is actually Minota. And, uh, but the, the likes of like um, uh, uh, Rickle, you know, they are, they, you know, if you talk about like struggling, yeah, Rickle will probably be one of the first ones to go if you're really worried about it. And uh, I'm not saying, you know, about Rickle, Pentax, you know, they, you know, I love those cameras too. But in terms of operations and, 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 and profitabilities and things like that, they are actually much worse than Olympus. And at least Olympus is still, in terms of presence and market share, is still way bigger uh, uh, compared to uh, uh, Rickle and Pentax. So, so this is something that I don't think you should be too worried about uh, at this moment in time. And like I mentioned, the due diligence lasts for years. So this, uh, this something should be fairly reassuring. Okay, um, Alfion, um, the, as far as users are concerned, we uh, have nothing to worry about. Our camera will not stop working at just care as normal. And that is also true for all the users out there. You all know that Olympus cameras are usually very, very reliable. And uh, like my, my Olympus Mark II, uh, the Emon Mark II, that through been he's been through hell for four years and and you know I've been dropped there you know banged around with it you know it was scuffed everywhere and it still worked you know it still worked and uh, so you don't have to worry about it unless you're a pro which shoots a lot you know in my case it is the case you know I have to replace my camera every two to two to three years simply because the shutter usually reaching the end of life uh, actuations I mean I used to do about two two, three hundred thousand by, by, by two and a half years time. So uh, this is why I, I have to upgrade my equipment. So for pros, perhaps, you know, and, uh, but I, like I mentioned, you shouldn't worry about it because in years to come, we still see new, uh, new product coming up from Olympus. And um, Pantheon is still there, although they are under Ricoh umbrella. Yes, of course, of course, indeed. Um, Brad, <laughs> oh yeah, where's my glasses? I actually, you know, I'm so eager to talk about this this morning. I totally forgot about my trademark glasses. There we go. My trademark glasses is back. Now I can see properly. That's good. Thanks for Brad for reminding me. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else is here. Um, hardly saying that Michael Forthert is not going away. I don't think we need to get so scared. No, I don't think so. Um, to be honest, I've seen enough posts talking about it. 
almost non-stop for the last uh, three three weeks now. You know, since ever since Tony and Chelsea talked about Michael Forsyth is dead again, uh, which is, uh, um, you know, it's sometimes I think that it's, it's because of this type of announcement, this type of statements that causing a lot of negativities around the world in the photograph uh, in the photographic industry. Um, and this is why I think that uh, a lot of the influencers, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, online present uh, uh, YouTubers, uh, Twitters, uh, you know, anybody else, I don't think they should speculate things like that. And uh, that is a true fact. Um, because to me, I rather just focus on what I want to create. I want to share my knowledge and my skills to all the photographers and creators out there. I don't want to talk down on any brands. Even like this afternoon, I talk about Canon. I'm not trying to troll about Canon. I used to use Canon gears. I, yeah, I did switch from Canon to Olympus, but they are all great companies that we don't want to see any camera company goes down, full stop. I think it's good to have them all around here to give us innovations, give us choices, right? You know, you'll agree that, um, the, you know, you have, everyone got their own preferences in terms of format, in terms of color rendering, in terms of optic performance, everybody has their preference. Um, and, and I don't, and I hate people just keep talking down on one brand, two brands, you know, if I am a diehard uh, Canon guy, I would talk down on Nikon, I would talk down on, on, on Olympus, Panasonic, I would talk down on everybody. If I'm Nikon guy or talk down in Canon and all the, I, I don't, you know, why? You know, to be quite honest, at the end of the day, imaging, images and the videos matter, right? You know, like, show me a picture, show me a video, see how good you are. And it's not about the gear. And uh, it's, all, it's always about the preference, whether you want to use that particular features. Like in my case, I think Olympus has the really good uh, uh, portabilities, you know, it's rugged, it's reliable. And I simply love the IBIS and also uh, the, all the other funky features like live composite, live pro, uh, 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 light bulb stuff. So yeah, this is why I prefer to use. But if you guys are not into it, so that's, that's fine. You know, ultimately, we just want to capture the photograph the way we want it, right? That's all I always want to say. So Philip Choi, so what brand will the new camera and lens under Olympus or JIP? Right, for uh, this is a good question because I think um, at this moment in time, nothing's gonna change. They're gonna keep the Olympus brand for some years to come. But ultimately, whether they're gonna ditch the Olympus brand or not, that's something else. But I doubt that they're gonna use JIP because JIP is just an equity company uh, umbrella company uh, name. So just like Sony Vio computers that they bought from Sony, um, they ditched the Sony but kept the Vio. Um, so possibility is they could just keep the OMD, they could keep Pen, they could keep them as separate businesses. I have no idea at this moment in time. But from what I understand that they're gonna, they're gonna keep the Olympus brand for, for quite a few years to come. So that could be uh, very interesting um, to see you know, what the future holds. But so far, I know that the next few, the next few, few product at least Olympus name is going to be remaining. So if you guys want to collect Olympus uh, uh, merchandise, Olympus gears, this is now the time because um, we still have the Olympus name on it. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, just a joke. Okay, and uh, let's see that. So, um, the Trevor, uh, current Olympus user may not be worried about the announcement, but potential new customer, yes, I, I agree. I mean, I, that's why I think that Olympus will definitely announce something very, very soon to reassure uh, their positions and also the new company, JIP's positions. They might actually do a joint announcement about the, uh, the whole situation, uh, how they're going to continue the investments and also making sure nothing is going to change from a consumer's perspective. So this is something I'm, I'm pretty sure they're going to announce that very, very soon. Um, the, so you just have to stay tuned for four foot rumors, right? You know, they were one of the first guys who actually talk about these things. <laughs> and um, Burana, hello, good afternoon. What a shame, I've just got into the system, love it. I hope the system stays afloat. Um, yes, like I mentioned, uh, ask Shay. I don't think you have to worry about it at all. And uh, uh, as, as, you know, as a consumer, as a product user, you are safe, you know, you're safe for many years and that's, that's uh, how I can reassure you. Um, you don't have to worry about it too much and they are still going to be here for a long, long time. Okay, and um, Johnny Tao, pretty sure no company would buy into new business and let it die. And of course, you know, they pump money into it. Why would I want to buy like multi-million, if not, if not billions, uh, and chuck it to the sea? <laughs> Who would be silly? You know, if someone wants to buy something, they want, they, they, they already see the potentials. They already see the 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 uh, 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 the potential return that could be 
you know, from building this up again. And I'm pretty sure JIPs already have a lot of plans on it. And also uh, they, they have a lot of experts, uh, expertise in promoting brands uh, in, uh, in a specific sectors. So this is something that, it, you know, I think it could be quite interesting because if you have to think about it. You know, Olympus used to operate imaging department like themselves. Um, the, they are a medical company. They're much, much bigger in that sense. Um, the, in the imaging uh, divisions, you know, they, you know, they're operating almost independently. And now they have a brand new umbrella company that actually specializes in promoting brands. And that could be something totally different. They would probably actually push even more in terms of marketing. They could even push more in terms of innovations. So this is something that I, I personally believe that could be very, very encouraging, despite the, the uh, somehow, uh, 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 you know, negativity that, that come up from the announcement, even though that it, I wouldn't think is a announce uh, is negative. You know, look, you know, uh, in uh, Cadbury in the UK, the chocolate company got bought, got bought out, and uh, things like that. You know, they, w w did we feel sad about it as a user? I still eat the chocolate. You know, there's, there's no difference for all the years that they they they've been gone, and uh, so I I I personally believe that it's actually going to be fine. So you guys don't worry, don't worry, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Jimmy's been crying so I can't wear his glasses. Is that so? <laughs> I, you know, I do have eye bags though. I do have eye bags. I'm telling you that simply because I've been working um, for the last two nights and until 2, 2 a.m., 3 a.m. just because I have some work to, to get through. And, uh, so I'm actually still thinking whether I, I have enough time to do my Sunday video this week uh, because I may be struggling to do that. I have to finish off a few things and uh, and also my first professional booking is back next week so uh, i'm i'm finally be able to make some money again uh, that's something that uh, i i'm kind of dreading to happen to, since the lockdown because lockdown really cost cost me a lot of money you know in terms of business why you know I, I lost all my bookings almost everything this year and uh, now slowly getting back to normal and hopefully uh, it, it will starting to grow back again. But I don't foresee a full return until early next year, at least for my business. Uh, so yeah, it, it will see. But in the meantime, I'm here, you're here, and uh, let's have a chat. You know, every now and then, especially I do this Facebook Live thing every morning and uh, and every Wednesday on my YouTube. So you're very welcome to join me. Okay, um, Olympus Fuji comes with too much on tradition. They could introduce fun products like uh, to win Instagram kids. <laughs> what? You know what, yeah? I actually think Olympus does a better job in 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 winning the Instagram kids than Fuji, and that's that's true. And and also think about um um the Olympus portability is is definitely way um uh, uh more appealing compared to Fuji's cameras, uh, even though you know they. Uh, they, you know, are as good as uh, Olympus in, in in many aspects, like color science and and uh, and imaging the uh, the actual uh, lens constructions and, and design. But I think in terms of portability, vlogability, I think the uh, uh, the Olympus is still still much much more appealing to the younger generations, especially OMD uh, 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 EM10 series and also the EPL series, which are actually very very good. And, uh, Great life, really informative. Thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you for listening to me. And uh, oh, Stan is here, Stan Foxworthy. You're welcome, thank uh, Stan. Yes, uh, hopefully I'll give you some insight to reassure you that uh, things are going to be okay. Um, but like I said, things are still evolving over time, and also this news will continue um, the, to develop. Um, the, there will be more details. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, this news only came in this morning. Uh, also came in yesterday to Olympus. I only heard about it this morning, and uh, subsequently I, I I had a phone call, and uh, so I, I I asked a few questions. Um, the, but it's encouraging. I think the news is actually very encouraging in this. Instead of being negative, I actually feel positive afterward, and I think it's actually uh, going to be um, a great few years to come. So see what what uh, what the new company can bring the Olympus uh, imaging division to see what sort of new thing they can bring into us. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. But as far as uh, uh, product launches and, and developments on the roadmaps that you guys all fascinated about, you know, all the new lenses on the shaded areas and the, and the lens roadmap, and also some uh, 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 speculations on the newer cameras, bodies and things, 
they are all coming still. They are all still coming. They are all following the schedule that they already set to schedule. So I know I saw a comment uh, early in one of the Facebook group uh, saying, um, uh, you know, uh, oh please, you know, please release the 100 to 400 and something like that. And uh, uh, you know, I don't know when it's going to come out. You know, don't ask me that. I don't know yet. And, uh, but. As far as I know, all the product releases and uh, and all the roadmaps are going to continue. So like, you don't have to worry about that. all the um, uh, pre-planned activities from Olympus Imaging Divisions will continue with the new company and JIP. Uh, so yeah, you guys should uh, be actually okay. You know, like I mentioned, all the consumers, all the people, uh, all the photographers out there, all the enthusiasts, you guys could be as normal function. You know, take, you know, just go and enjoy shooting. That's what we're supposed to do. We take the camera out and go and shoot. <laughs> um, after the end of the roadmap, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> right, to be quite honest, who knows? You know, like, uh, uh, you know, every company will have a plan for the next four to five years minimum. And, 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 and that's, that's all it is. But they're going to evolve. And all, just like any other businesses, you know, like Nikon, Nikon also has the roadmap. And uh, you can see where they really close off the, the, uh, the the uh, what was it? Oh, what do you call those uh, little scope for the rivals? And they closed up their business already last year uh, and in, in the US. So uh, uh, they are restructuring themselves, Nikon and uh, or Nikon, depending on where you are. And uh, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. But I'm gonna, not gonna talk too much because I'm gonna save some of the contents that I want to talk about later this afternoon. So if you wanna join me at 3 p.m. BST London time. Uh, you can join me on my YouTube, like I mentioned, the link is in my description, Red35 Photography. If you want to catch up uh, any of my previous daily life on Facebook, head to my other channel, my personal channel, uh, Jimmy Chang. Uh, well, also, the link is down in my description, so you can go there and check out all the previous lives uh, that I archive over there. And uh, yeah, let's do this. See, happy to continue my photography Olympus equipment for the next 15 years. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> and... Um, Okay, that's okay uh, uh, for for the rumors for Olympus. It's, it will sell its camera business to Sony. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, yes. Perhaps, perhaps. We never know. We don't know how business is gonna go. They could go one way or the other. You know, you, you just don't know. And like you know, just look at the way how Sony progresses over the last ten years and since the mirrorless evolution started, and uh, they propelled themselves one of the big boys. You know, com compared to uh, uh, Canon and Nikon. In fact, they've eaten so much from the Canon and Nikon market share that now they had to respond by introducing the, the mirrorless cameras uh, respectively in, 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 like two years ago. So this is something that things keep changing and evolving. And in, in a way that Michael Ford said, I think is, is still uh, a, a very valid platform is because uh, the so obvious reasons that it's, it's portable, it's portable, it's reliable, and the, uh, it's just genuinely good for many people. Like 99% of photographers out there don't need heavier gears or in fact more expensive gears simply because I would rather spend a saving and going to, going to a be better trip holidays to take photographs, right? You know, instead of spending, you know, double the money to get something almost equivalent in terms of performance, uh, I, I could save myself a lot of money. Like I mentioned when I switched from Canon to, to Olympus, and uh, I, I sold off my, all my Canon gears, uh, I still have change even though that I, you know, uh, when I sold all my second and Canon gears, you know, supposedly you do it, you take a big depreciation, a big cut from the original price that I purchased. Uh, when I buy all everything new on Olympus, I still have change left, <laughs> and that's how financially incentive. It's a financial incentive for me to switch, not only just because of the performance and how I like about portability, but it really is good. And now, you know, look, I've been operating professionally in a professional environment using Olympus gears for the last four and a half years now. And, uh, uh, and I don't see any deficiencies anywhere. My clients still very happy about the pictures. In fact, my business actually grew, apart from this year, this year's shit. But uh, like, you know, last three, last three uh, four years, and my business actually grew over 70%. So like, this is actually something to, uh, very encouraging for a photographer, for a professional, for enthusiasts who really know what they're doing about their photography and filmmaking. And uh, I think, you know, that they, they should be very happy about what they what they have, you know, regardless of brand. So so happened that, you know, Olympus is just my preferred choice. Okay, and uh, hack Matt, uh, why only four to five? <laughs> um, well, you know, I think you're talking about the, the actual, uh, uh, the roadmap. Yeah, we, you know, we don't know what's going to go, happen because very sure uh, JIP may actually uh, bring out new roadmaps or 
some other new plans after two to three years once they assess the situation once everything settled once the dust has settled down a little bit and then uh, then they will be able to refocus and, uh, and and also trying to see uh which direction they can take the business to you know i'm pretty sure they have plans already kind of draft out how they want to propel the business forward and also making sure they become a one of the bigger players in the photographic uh, and imaging business uh, which is actually very cool I can't I like I said I can't wait to see what sort of uh, thing is gonna bring whoa that's big <laughs> and uh, 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 in the next few years sorry about this uh, this uh, very big oh, I have to go up a little bit the news from today may be shocking for many people but it is very normal in today's business Philips medical good so to so is lost making lighting business a few years ago. Today, Philip Lighting is re renamed as Signified and very successful. Based on this, the same can happen to that. Yes, of course. Of course. Sorry, I have to take that off because I have to keep doing this. <laughs> and uh, yes, um, of course, of course it is. Uh, the, it depends on whether how JRP is going to operate, of course, and uh, how they can uh reiterate the you know the whole business uh, and the imaging divisions how they can propel the olympus brands forward and also the uh, the the innovations and i do hope that they're going to bring in even more innovations by pumping more money on the r d and bringing in more uh, uh, uh very fun and usable features that every photographers and content creators can enjoy i think this should be a very interesting time and uh, as, as well because it's always fun in 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 a way, you know, of course, I would miss, I would miss that the the tie between the the current the, uh, the current imaging business the division to the mother company Olympus, uh, I'll, I'll miss the tie there, you know, the, the the between the two. But in the same time, when you have a new owner, that are actually willing to pump money into it, that gives that gets me curious. That gives me, uh, in a way, a very positive uh, 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 thinking. You know, what are they gonna do? How are they gonna make it work? How are they gonna May even make more things from from this business that they just purchased that might be something i think this is something to to look forward to and to see what what's going to happen <laughs> and um okay let's see with the other other comments right here <laughs> right you guys stop talking about full frame right you know like why you keep talking about full frame olympus well actually who knows <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. But as far as I know, that I don't think that's gonna 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 happen uh, anytime soon. Because why would Olympus want to do full frame e to compete with an overcrowded market already? And look, uh, just look at currently, Panasonic full frame is suffering. And then uh, I'm not not like I said, I'm not talking down about. I'm just talking about facts at the moment. They are they are trying to compete with a, a very established player there, Sony. That's one big player there. And then they have. The already established full frame player, not not just mirrorless, but full frame players like Nikon and Canon. So like, these three big boys are really, really like kind of grab hold of the like majority of the uh, the full frame market. And Panasonic trying to carve their way in to this market by bringing in something silly, uh, you know, the 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 uh, the latest S, S S series. They're technically really, really good cameras, and and I really like them. And uh, but if you look at the way that how Canon are willing to pump market into the mirrorless market and continue to propel like the, the next R5 and R6, for instance, they are going to be really phenomenal cameras where the people would need it is another thing. I talked about this before. Uh, it may be an overkill for many people, but they are pushing the envelopes over just because they can. And also just because they want to show people that no one can beat us. We we'll still be the leader in the in the photographic industry. So this is what Canon is really shouting out to everybody now. You know, like, I'm still the big boy here. But anyway, Panasonic is really trying hard, yeah? So if Olympus want to do that, they will need to understand uh, uh, that they need to pump a lot, a lot, and a lot of money, you know, just to sit there, you know, just to make a loss, because uh, initially you're going to make a loss, you know, and uh, 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 just like Panasonic did, you know, it's, it's going to be really hard to convince people to switch over, and they have to develop a whole new bunch of lenses, unless they sign up to the same alliance as the Panasonic, like the Leica Sigma Alliance for making the same mount. And if they do, the possibility is that you have an already a bunch of established lenses there that you can use. But otherwise, Olympus will have to redevelop everything. And this is a big 
expensive exercise. And at the moment, the Michael Forther is very happy, and I think that all of us are happy. I don't see anything else. I'd rather they continue to invest in bringing new, uh, more new lenses, more better lenses, and better bodies than actually going for full frame. And uh, to be honest, I came from full frame background. Like I mentioned, I switch over to Olympus. I don't see any deficiencies anywhere when I do my job. I don't really, uh, 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 you know, have a preference of using any other format. Uh, anyway, nowadays I just have to. I'm very happy of using Micro Four to do everything that I do. If you can see from my from my website, from my Instagram, I took all those photos and videos uh, completely using Micro Four Third system. And, and you, I, if I don't tell you, you probably can't see, right? <laughs> so this is something that I would have to tell you that as a photographer, as a content creator, you know, you are the one who is responsible on, on the outcome. However you want to present to your viewers and however you want to compose your pictures and create those pictures is entirely up to you. And I think that Olympus stand a unique place here because they have some unique features that nobody else currently have. And if they switch to the full frame, those features would disappear because they are physically impossible. So I think that is, a, a, at least for now. Um, so I think that, yeah, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's see any other comments. Rob Hill, Ferrari owned Fiat, still going strong. <laughs> you see that they are they are everywhere. You know, like uh, uh, so. You know, it's a news. I know it's a news. It's a breaking news, of course, to a lot of uh, people who know about and love about Olympus. I'm pretty sure. And uh, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody talking about different different companies now owned by who owned by this, yeah you don't have to yeah it's it's they are it's very common it's a common practice in the business world. Don't forget it is a business world now. You not not like before. How we see businesses these days is totally different to what we see them like 40, 50 years ago. Even though I'm not that old, but then I'm just telling in uh, in figure of speech wise. And, uh, it, they are definitely very very different. Right and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Another big one. Oh, Hendrik. Right. Uh, you think about the, the marketing, Olympus marketing. Technology-wise, Olympus is top-notch, but marketing is not so good. Uh, right. Okay. Yes. Uh, perhaps. Perhaps this is something that perhaps GIP can fix, I, I believe, and, uh, because they are more of a brand company. They know how to make a brand work. So this is something I believe. What GIP will bring to the table is to how they can bring values to the brand, propel it by investing not only just on the uh, current uh, uh, R&Ds and product development, but also to the actual brand building, which involving a lot of marketing, a lot of the uh, uh, promotions and things like that. So I'm pretty sure this is something they are looking forward to doing. And then uh, and that's why I think they could be in a much, much better position now than ever. And uh, really, really? Never seen a young ambassador. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Thanks. Yeah, I know. I'm. I know. I'm not 22. Yeah, I know. I'm not 22. But I'm. I'm. I'm not. I'm not that old. I have two kids. Yes, I'm married. So. <laughs> okay, uh, Justin. And unfortunately, also they had just started a re uh, renovate the marketing approach of the OMD movies and uh, the highlighting cutting edge photography using OMD. EM1 Mark II and uh, Mark III and the EM1X. Uh, yes, they do, but like I always say, better late than ever. So they already make a start, and uh, I think it's very effective. People are already buying into the the whole philosophy of Michael Forther and also the Olympus uh, theory in general. Um, so I think it's really good. And uh, myself has been part of this. As you have you seen my my vlogger kit and also my uh, my um, my vlogger videos in Europe? You know, it's been launched, man. I'm so proud of it. My face is in the box. Yeah, you want to see it? Actually, I want to show you one more time. Yeah, that would be cool, right? And. Uh, Bear with me one second, I'm going to show you just that. Ugh. Right. I'm so happy, yeah? Look, my face is in the box. Yeah, I'm the first one on the box here. Look at that. It's actually the EM5 Mark III Vlogger Kit. And uh, so I'm, I'm still happy. I'm, I'm like this. And uh, yeah, it's really, really, really awesome. So I'm happy. <laughs> A big company with too many managers, not too good uh, for innovation, but maybe smaller division, more engineers, more photographers, maybe good for the new product. Uh, yeah, per uh, perhaps. I, I, uh, obviously, I am not a corporate CEO. I'm not a corporate manager, so to speak. And uh, even though I worked in the blue chip companies before, and I was a manager before, before I became a photographer. And, uh, but, you know, I, I just uh, not really... I care anymore because I love creating stuff 
you know, just like my photographs, my videos and uh, my content creations and, and stuff like that. I just really enjoy what I'm doing now and I'm really happy where I am. Uh, uh, and also I have all of you guys supporting me, which is actually really, really good, right? Uh, so I, I'm, I'm still, you can see I'm very bubbly. I'm getting more animated. So uh, I, I'm going to continue this conversation until 3 p.m. Shit, I'm not going to speak. I'm, I'm going to lose my voice completely later on. Um, <laughs> all right, okay, I'm nearly the end of it now. And... Uh, so Brad also said streamlining can be good or bad, but I suspect that almost over engineers and highest quality standards are unlikely to be high on the agenda. And, uh, it will be profit first. So what will be driving blah, blah, blah. Yes, yes. Well, of course, you know, if they spend money on it, they would have to look into a way, uh, look into ways to make money. Um, the, way, the way I see it is that I don't think they will skimp a lot of stuff in terms of the actual product development. I don't think they will skimp on the R&D because uh, as a digital camera manufacturers, they're not like before. Now, more, more than ever, they need to invest in technologies because it's digital, everything digital, processors, uh, the actual chip itself, uh, and everything else is relating to technology developments, like software as well, like the apps and, um, and, and everything. So I don't think they'll skim on that because if they do, the product becomes unsellable, they become dated, and then they, they can't sell and they will lose money. So that... I don't think they would, they would suffer. They would probably continue pumping even more money into R and D department just to do uh, that that side of development. But streamlining in terms of operation, very true. I think that that will happen. Like I mentioned earlier, and uh, a lot of the regions may may see some closures, and depending on whether they are making a lot of money or not, if they do uh, make a uh, make a lot of money, and they they should be fine. You know, like the US, for instance, like UK, we should be okay. And and uh, um, but some European countries that that that, that actually not that big and they now they are probably on the borderline of making money and those may see some streamlining some restructuring going on um, but that is probably very common in any business restructurings anyway regardless if they've been taking over or, or not so there's something to, to bear that in mind but i don't think overall you're going to be suffering as a consumer as a, a end buyer because you can you have most most likely you're buying things from 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 your dealer, from your retailers, and also from online anyway. So it should be fine. The only thing that you may lose out is probably some of the uh, live interaction between you and the local reps. Uh, for instance, like the touch and dry, and also the uh, 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 loan system that you may have. Um, the, that kind of interaction you may you may lose out. But I'm pretty sure that Olympus Volvo is still do some a lot of local promotions through the retailer, like what they're doing now anyway. So uh, in terms of you, uh, you know, local, uh, uh, consumers, I don't think you see much of a difference. It's more so in terms of how they're going to operate this uh, in a more slightly more higher level in terms of the corporate itself. So I think uh, that that will be what I my take on on this particular thing. Okay, and um, let's see then. And uh, oh, Trevor used to work in the IBM division when it sold off. Uh, I have a few friends who used to work for IBM. To begin with, it was fine and was SS stripped. <laughs> well, IBM is different. IBM is, is a tech company, and they have different parts in it which they can be chopped and sold. But like I said, the camera business is very slightly different, especially the Olympus Imaging Division is a one unit thing. And uh, uh, it's, it's gonna be really hard to chop them and sell it, especially if there are other players out there uh, that is more established. Uh, the sensor business, for instance, and also the, the software engineering side of it, uh, the, you know, they, they're one, maybe perhaps the, the optics side of it, you know, but then again, you know, Canon, Sigma, Tamron, they, they have loads of can the lens companies out there. so. I doubt it very much. And I think that they're more interested in actually building the brand uh, itself and trying to propel this forward to the next level. And uh, Mark said, you will always be an ambassador to us. <laughs> even if it's no business. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. I myself, I'm going to be ambassador of Jimmy Chang. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> and uh, oh, there you go. You can just about it. <laughs> Sorry, my 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 uh, my Mandarin is still very very bad. Uh, <laughs> right, hot yes, busy nights ahead and uh, good luck indeed. And uh, I'm gonna have another uh, live talk later on uh, at 3 p.m. So it's only a few hours away. So I'm pretty sure that I will need some some rest before now and then. And uh, and also 
after that, I'm going to continue my, my work because I do have a couple of jobs I need to finish and get paid, right? And especially in this difficult time. And uh, is, is, you know, I have to scrape every job I can find and uh, as a professional. You know, I, I lost all my, like I mentioned, I lost all my booking this year uh, because of the obvious current situation, pandemic issues. And, uh, it, is a, it, it is a big hit on my business and I, I'm, I'm wouldn't, I wouldn't lie, but lucky uh there are things still going on you know still uh, you guys are supporting me still following me still listening to me this is a big big help uh, uh already and they give me a lot of energy to come up and and continue my day as normal as, as a as a as a ambassador as a photographer as a content creator uh, i still making youtube videos and uh, even though it's slower paced than before uh, but you guys are still there supporting me every time i release a new video and you guys still likes and talk to me so I'm really, I'm really grateful about all this stuff. So uh, thank you very much for that. And I will continue to do that until the day I die, hopefully, <laughs> if I still have the energy, that is. So, um, well, okay. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I think I'm going to end my stream right now. And like I said, if you want to join me once again and uh, later this afternoon on my YouTube channel, Red35 Photography, uh, the link is in the description. You can set the reminder there if so you want to listen more about the current situations and also why I mentioned about Canon in my particular uh, topic. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring them together. And then so like, it's going to be a fun talk later on. It's going to be even longer than today. i am already spoken an hour long, so uh, it's going to be really, really long. So I've got to rest my voice now. I'm going to drink my coffee. Finally, it's gone cold already. So uh, uh, I will speak to you guys tomorrow, hopefully, you know, if you guys want to come back and chat to me. So to, today's topic is going to be moved to tomorrow. So I was going to talk about blur images. <laughs> so it looks like I'm not going to talk about blur images now. So it's going to be to tomorrow. So if you want to listen to me talk about blur images, uh, you are very welcome to join me tomorrow at the same time, 11 a.m. BST, London time. Until next time, I shall speak to you soon. Like I said, if you have any questions, you're very welcome to message me, talk to me, uh, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, uh, and go to my website, private message to me on Facebook, anywhere. You know, I'm, I'm show show. I'm, I'm on every platform. Just find me. Google my name, Jimmy Chang. You'll find. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see you later. And uh, you guys have a good day. If I don't see you this, uh, this afternoon, see you another time. Bye for now.